Hi everyone, today we're going to work on this pastel water marbling design. I only decided to water marble two fingers just because water marbling is hard and I'm still not good at it so I only decided to do two fingers this time. Let's go ahead and get started. First, apply your favorite base coat. When dry, paint your ring finger and your pointer finger white. I only applied one coat. This will act as the background for a water marbling design and it will make it pop. Next, this step is optional, but I decided to take some tape and tape around the nails that are getting water marbled. This just helps in the cleanup process because water marbling can be very, very messy. When you're ready, go ahead and start water marbling. Choose your favorite colors and drop them in one by one into the water. It is very, very important that your water is room temperature. If it's not room temperature, it will sink to the bottom, your polishes will. Also, make sure you're in a room where there's not a fan or any breeze or anything like that blowing because it does dry the polishes. I've discovered that. <laughs> Once you have your polishes into the water, go ahead and take a toothpick and make your design. ready, go ahead and dip your finger into the water. I usually leave my finger in the water just for a few seconds. Also blow on the surface of the water to dry the polishes faster. Go ahead and clean up the surface of the water. You can then remove your finger. At this point you can also remove the tape from your finger you can also clean up around your cuticles. Next, I painted all my other fingers mint green. I decided to add a small flower in the bottom right corner of each nail. Not on the water marbling nails, just on the mint green nails. As you can see, I'm using a dotting tool. You do not have to have a dotting tool to do this. You can use a ballpoint pen or anything with just a small round ball on the end of it. All I did was drag the center of the white dots into the middle to create the flower. Then just take a color and add a center. When dry, go ahead and apply your favorite top coat. And now your design is finished. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also become my friend on Facebook to share your pictures of your nail art designs. See you guys next time.